Across Texas tonight, a six-year-old boy and his grandmother are recovering after they were both shocked and severely burned by a downed power line, a line that they didn't even step on. Now, Stephen Gowen spoke to their family, who says they're grateful they're alive despite their horrific injuries. And we should warn you, this might be difficult to look at. A long road to recovery for six-year-old Nathan Winter and his grandmother, Charlotte. They're both fighters and they're both going to make it through it one day at a time. Just last week, they both suffered severe burns after a storm on Tuesday knocked down a power line near the RV park in Willis, where Charlotte lives. I was terrified. I mean, it's a, a phone call that nobody ever wants. Not only is it your parent, it's your child. Nathan's mother, Morgan Winters, says her mother and son tell her they were nowhere near the down power line that day, but somehow they were still hurt. The ground being wet, um, they believe that could have affected and, you know, caused them to be electrocuted as well. Days later, this mother is now focused on her loved ones getting better, and they've both already undergone surgery. My mom, about 55% of her body is burned with second and third degree burns, but they're all over her body. Morgan says her mother required donor skin and is still in the ICU where she could remain for months before potentially going to a rehabilitation center. Six-year-old Nathan fared better. He was burned on almost 20% of his body. He's already wheeling himself around his room. I appreciate all the people that's been helping me, that's been coming to see me. For Morgan, it's a reassuring sign that things will get better. I know deep down everything will be okay. Um, even though it's going to be hard and challenging, I'm just very thankful that they're both alive. 